What is up? We are back with the last lesson of Unit 1. We're talking slope of par parallel and perpendicular lines. Uh, two things today. Um, understand the relationship between the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines and use slopes to determine if lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So let's jump on in. What are some different types of slopes? Well, first of all, we have a negative slope falling from left to right. So something kind of goes down like that. We'll go ahead and call this right here negative slope. Uh, positive slopes going up from left to right. So over here, oh, help if I could spell. We have a positive slope. Uh, zero slope, horizontal, like the floor. The ceiling, straight left to right. And the other one, undefined slope. Those are vertical lines going up and down. Okay, so there we go. The other thing to highlight here is the slope formula. Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. Uh, how do you tell if two lines are parallel? So two lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope, the exact same slope. Okay, and just a little note here for you. If you have any two vertical lines, you have a vertical line over here and another vertical line over here. Those two lines are parallel. Even if I put a vertical line way over here, they're all parallel with each other. They're never going to cross because they have the same slope. Perpendicular lines, on the other hand, um, two lines are perpendicular if and only if their product, the product of their slopes is negative one. I like to think of this uh, more as opposite. Oh boy, it's going to be a tough one. Reciprocals. Opposite reciprocals. So... What that means is, so if, if we have the slope of line 1, let's say that that is, um, let's go 1 half. Okay, that means the slope of line 2, you need the reciprocal of 1 half. So you just take um, those two and flip them. So the slope would be uh, 2, 2 over 1, but you don't really need the over 1 part. 2 over 1 is just 2 simplified. And then opposite meaning, if this one is a positive, that means this one has to be negative. Um, another quick example then would be if my the slope of the first line is 3, that means the slope of the second line is, um, so we got a, first of all, it has to be negative. That's positive 3, it has to be negative. So now we have to figure out um, what is the reciprocal of 3. So just off to the side here, 3 is the same thing as 3 over 1. And then to find the reciprocal, you would flip the numerator and denominator. So the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third. So again, positive 3, negative 1 third. Those are op opposite reciprocals. Those would be perpendicular lines. So here we just have one example. Uh, tell whether the lines through the given points are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So we need to use the slope formula here. So let's start with line number one. The slope of line number one is, so I'm going to go ahead and label these. Actually, we're going to go x1, y1. It's the first x-coordinate, the first y-coordinate. This is going to be x2, the second x-coordinate, and y2, the second y-coordinate. I'll actually go ahead and write down the slope formula over here as well. So we're taking the y values, y2 minus y1, divided by x2 minus x1. So we know y2, we know y1, we know x2, we know x1. We just need to plug them in and simplify. So starting with y2, that's negative 2 minus, if I subtract y1, that's 1. Okay, in the denominator, x2 is negative 7 minus, it's always minus, negative 3. Let's clean this up a little bit here. Up top, negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. That wasn't too bad. On the bottom, though, we kind of have a lot going on. We have two negative signs back to back right, 
ooh, right here in the middle. Um, if you remember, if we have two negative signs back to back, we can just change that to addition. So negative seven plus three. So these both become addition, which maybe makes that a little easier to clean up. Negative three divided by, so negative seven plus three would be negative four. Um, one last small thing here, we have a negative sign we have a negative 3 divided by negative 4. A negative number divided by another negative number actually makes the whole thing positive. So there is the slope of my first line, 3 fourths. Um, as you get, as you have a little more practice doing this, this will get a lot easier. You don't have to show me every step. You can combine a couple steps, hopefully. Um, so let's jump ahead to line 2 here. Again, I'm going to label x1, y1, x2, y2. And then I just plug and chug. Y2 is 4 minus Y1 is negative 1. Divided by X2 is 8 minus 2. Uh, up top, again, we have that situation where we have two negatives back to back. So we can simplify that into just addition. So 4 plus 1 divided by 6. 4 plus 1 is 5 divided by 6. So that is the slope of line 2. So the question was, are these two lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? So I know that they're not parallel because they don't have the same slope. If the top one's 3 fourths, the bottom one would also have to be 3 fourths if they were to be parallel. So that one's easy, not that one. Perpendicular. So let's take a look. Um, three fourths was the slope of line one. If I find the opposite reciprocal, what I'm going to do is flip the numerator and denominator. So four over three, and then that was a positive three fourths. So this would have to be a negative three fourths. Is that what we got here? Hopefully you can tell me no. So that means that they are not perpendicular either. So we can go ahead and just cross that out. That means that they are neither. And it does say to explain, so you could tell me something about the slopes are not the same and the slopes are not opposite reciprocals, therefore they are neither parallel nor perpendicular. Something along those lines to kind of just prove to me that they're not parallel or perpendicular. And that's it. Only video of the week.